In this video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate integrals of the form shown in these examples here. Um, but before we do that, we're just going to give you a brief, uh, you know, background of the explanation of some of the terms, definitions, uh, etc. So. Um, given that the derivative of big F is a small f, um, then it means that the integral of small f is going to be big F plus C. Um, this is actually called the indefinite integral um, of, um, <coughs> of a small f. Now, um, we can um, write a symbol like this, where you've got the integral of small f with two numbers here, a and b. And uh, if this is dx, then this is x equals to a to x equals to b. This thing is called the definite integral of <clears throat> um, small f. The b or the number at the top is called the upper limit and uh, the number at the bottom of the integral sign is called the lower limit. <coughs> now, this just like we had here still works out to big F, but then what we do is uh, we to find the value of this, we plug in the upper limit and then subtract the same uh, function after plugging in the lower limit. Um, this thing is actually called the fundamental theorem of uh, calculus. So fundamental uh, theorem of uh, calculus. Um, and so this is uh, the, your definite integral. So what is this saying? Uh, this thing is saying uh, um, to find the definite integral of small f, we first find the integral of f, then we plug in the upper limit and uh, subtract the same value after plugging in the lower limit. Notice here that uh, the condition is that uh, a uh, is uh, less than um, or equal to b. All right, so let's uh, see how um, this is going to help us to work out the first example. So like uh, I was just saying, the first thing we always do is just to simply find the integral of this function here. So, and these are powers of x, so we're simply going to add one and divide. So here we're going to have power four, and then it's gonna be six over four, but uh, six over four is three over two. So that's gonna be three uh, over two x to the power four. And then here we add one and divide, it's going to be 4 over 2, 4 over 2 is 2, and then in the last case, it's going to be 7x. Notice that uh, in the case of um, the definite integral, we don't uh, bother with the constant of integration c. But just so that you appreciate how this happens, Maybe for this first one, I'm going to write that C there, and then you're going to see how it uh, cancels out. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in uh, X is 3 here, then take away the value of the same thing when X is negative 2. So this is going to be 3 over 2, uh, 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 times 3 squared plus seven times three plus C. Then we're going to take away the value of the same thing. Now we're plugging in negative two uh, in the place of 
x negative 2 here now in terms of the c you can see that when we open brackets the uh, c's are going to cancel out because you're going to have plus c here and then minus c this side um, if we punch this uh, in the calculator it uh, works out to 122.5 uh, so that is going to be the value of the first uh, integral in the second case we have got um, integral of 6x squared minus 3x minus 4 e to the minus 2x so integral of uh, 6x squared minus 3x minus 4e to the minus 2x dx um, the limit is uh, lower limit is minus 1 and the upper limit is 2 so again if we add 1 to this power we're going to get 3 and then if we divide 6 divided by 3 is 2 uh, for this one we're going to get 3 halves x squared and then to integrate e we divide by the derivative of this which is negative 2 so we're going to have negative 4 over negative 2 which is 2 um, so that is going to be our integral again um, this function here is such that if we differentiate it it gives you that function there okay then if we plug in 2 first so it's going to be 2 times 2 cubed minus 3 halves times 2 squared plus 2e to the minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 then we're going to take away the value of that function at uh, x equals to minus 1 so minus 1 cubed here uh, minus 1 squared plus 2e that is going to be power 2 now um, then if we punch this in the calculator uh, correct to two decimal places is going to be negative 1.24 Okay, then for C, um, so in C, we have uh, the integral uh, from 1 to 4 of 6x plus 7 all over square root x. Um, this time, we need to start by simplifying. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So 6x over root x by the distributive property of division, we can write this like that. Um, and then what's going to happen is we're going to say 6x over x to the power half. And that is going to give us... Um, <clears throat> 6x to the power half this one is going to be 7x to the power negative half um, then we add 1 and divide so 1 half plus 1 is uh, 3 halves divide by 3 halves negative half plus 1 is 1 half um, so that is what our um, indefinite integral is going to be. Then 6 over 3 halves is 4. Um, 7 over 1 half is 14. Um, then we're going to plug in x equals to 4. So it's going to be 4 times 4 to the power 3 halves plus 14 times 4 to the power half and then take away when x is 1 that's just going to be 4 times 1 to the power 3 halves which is 1 that's going to be 14 times 1 to the power half which is 14 well 14 times 1 and then again if we plug this in the calculator 
then this thing gives us 42. Okay, um, then I think the next one is the last one. So let's see. Oh no, the last plus one. So in D, <clears throat> we have um, the integral from 2 to 3 of um, 3p minus 1 over p squared all squared dp. So again here, we're going to have to start by uh, simplifying by removing the brackets. If we do that, that's going to be 9p squared minus 6 over p plus 1 over p to the power 4. Um, so that's 9p squared minus 6p to the minus 1 plus p to the negative 4. Then if we integrate, here we're going to have p cubed, then 9 over 3 is 3. So that's going to be 3p cubed. This one is going to be lean p. And uh, this one is going to be minus p to the minus 3 over 3. Um, so this is from 2 to 3. So if you plug in uh, p is 3, this is going to be 3 uh, times 3 to the power 3. So it's going to be 3 to the power 4, uh, 6 lean 3. Uh, this is going to be 1 over 3 to the power 4 again. Then take away uh, the value of the function when p is 2. So it's going to be 2 cubed, 6 lin 2, minus 1 over 3, 2 to the power 3. Then again, if we simply punch this in the calculator, correct two decimal places, we're going to get 54.60. And then now for the last one. Um, so in uh, E, we have the integral of dx over 2x plus 1 from 0 to 4. Um, the integral of this is simply going to be a uh, lean of 2x plus 1 divided by 2 or times 1 half 0 to 4. So this is going to be 1 and a half lean 9, which is 4 times 2 plus 1 minus 1 half lean 1. Uh, but lean 1 is 0, so and then we've punched this in the calculator simply gives us 1.10 right so um let's give you a few to try to see if you are following this all right i would like to ask you to have a go at uh, these uh, exercises uh, f g h i and uh, j so what you can do is uh, just pause the video and uh, work through these and then when you uh, continue the video you can then compare with our solutions all right uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for f g h i and j um, by the way if you have got uh, any questions on the stuff we're doing or comments or would like us to do certain topics you are free to post in the comment section below um, and uh, you we hope you find these uh, helpful please do not forget to subscribe all right so for f um, we integrate to get uh, 3x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x we plug in 2 and then we say minus the same function at when x is negative 3 we work this out to a hundred 
for g integral of 3 is 3x integral of 4 over x is 4 in x integral of 5 over square root x is 10 root x we plug in 3 and minus the same function when x is 1 plugging in the calculator this gives us 3.07 um, for h we need to first divide using long division here so that's how what we do here that means the quotient is negative 1 the remainder is 2 so integral of this is negative x integral of this is negative 2 lin 2x on account of that negative there we plug in 0 we get this Oh, and I actually want to plug in 0, we'll get this, and then plug in negative 3, we we'll get these two terms. Plug in the calculator, and that gives us negative 1.167. For i, um, the integral of 4 over x is 4 in x. This one we divide by 3. We we'll plug in 2, we get this minus, we we'll plug in 1, and uh, this works out to 1152.80. For j, we first need to remove these brackets, which we do here. And then we integrate. And then we plug in 4 here, we plug in 2 here, we subtract. And that gives us that. Alright, thank you very much for watching.